Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf, joined by Jake Montgomery here on the driving range at Les Bostad Golf Course with mm -hmm. some new utility slash driving irons from TaylorMade. Mm -hmm. um, TaylorMade P series irons, the mm -hmm. P-U-D-I, the P-D-H-Y. So not the first time that those two kind of uh, names have been you know, used by TaylorMade mm -hmm. for driving irons, but we've got kind of a new series here. Um, Jake, you got both in your mm -hmm. hands there now. Initially, before going into the tech or anything mm -hmm. like that, just what do you see when you look at them? Yeah, I mean, first thing I see is just clean. They yeah. have a great look to them. TaylorMade's always had some pretty solid driving irons, especially their P790s in the past have been very, very sought after, done very, very well in the bay. Yeah. Um, this year, they have two different options. They have the PUDI, which is your more traditional driving iron, yep. and then the PDHY. This is a bit more of a hybrid combination. Yeah. Lower center of gravity, um, designed to launch higher spin a little bit more. This mm -hmm. will help you with your peak height there. This is your more traditional driving iron, little lower spin, little lower flight. Yep, I think that's the big difference there is going to be where that center of gravity is located. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, we should see too in some of the numbers today as well as we do some testing is mm -hmm. some difference in that ball flight yep. launch, 100%. things like that. So a um, couple of the tech features to talk mm -hmm. about, um, individual mass optimization. Yes. Uh, so maximizes forgiveness with each loft mm -hmm. and each club head. So basically that's TaylorMade's way of saying they are maximizing what they can do with the mass that they're given here, putting yes. it strategically Absolutely. in the right spots. Mm -hmm. um, and each loft is a little bit different too there. So the yep. design and the structure is slightly different from mm -hmm. loft to loft and head to head. Um, also, Tungsten weighting in there, 26 mm -hmm. grams. Um, you're gonna see that placed um, strategically for forgiveness and stability mm -hmm. there. They've got a new face as yes, well. They do. So that, that club face, 4140 Opti face. Yep. That's a new term that mm -hmm. I haven't forged heard. Forged face. But, um, it is a forged face. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna get a feel, kind of that forged feel in a very like powerful package of a golf club. Absolutely. And there's a ton of performance in there. Mm -hmm. um, now in terms of like what you expect here. We talked about yes. all the tech here. Is there anything mm -hmm. you expect out of these? I mean, obviously we are hitting with range balls today mm -hmm. and things, so it might not be exactly what we've seen say in the Bay, but yeah. we're outside, got mm -hmm. different conditions. What do you expect to see here? Biggest difference really is gonna be peak height. I expect the UDI to be a little bit lower and then the DHY to be a little bit higher. Mass in this is just further back and lower. It's designed yeah. to launch the ball higher. I expect I'll see a little bit more carry out of this, maybe a little bit more total out of this one. Yeah, and then we should also note too, lofts. Mm -hmm. So. If you were to go through the entire lineup here, both yes. two irons are different lofts, actually. Mm -hmm. So yes. the, the UDI two iron is 17 degrees, mm -hmm. DHY is 18, but then after that, both three irons are 20 degrees, yep. both four irons are 22. So mm -hmm. today we've got two three irons here that will test at 20 degrees each, both the same shaft. We've got that UST recoil. Mm -hmm. um, Dart, I believe, is yep. the model. So Dart, 90 grams. 90 grams. So we've got a really good test here today. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to have Jake. You, I mean, are you ready to hit some shots here? Oh, I'm ready. All right, let's do it. All right, so I got the PDHY here in the three iron. Gonna hit a few shots, get some numbers, see how it performs. Yeah, this will be good. This will be good. I mean, that was pretty good. I mean, yeah. Let's carry on that. Let's see. Total of 226, carry 211. Spin okay. is a little, it's a 3986 there. Okay. So the other thing we're gonna be watching for too here is gonna be the apex 100%. Uh, peak height. That one was 81 feet. So, okay. and then granted, you know, some of the things on the measurements, right? We got like, like this is on the ground and mm -hmm. we don't, we, the, there's a hill out there too. Yeah. So it's gonna be a little bit different, but mm -hmm. comparison to the UDI is gonna be the big one, I think. For sure, absolutely. A little fat there. Mm hmm just a little bit. Spin go down a lot? Not really, no. Hmm. That's 3,600. Okay. So. I flushed that one. It sounded really good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah a little bit of a jump in ball speed there. Uh -huh. It's a 142.2. 146 yeah. on the smash. All right. So you're smoking it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then that peak height was up to 72 feet on yeah. that one. So a little bit higher than the previous yep. ball there. Absolutely. So. That should be higher. That one looks a little higher for sure. So I bought the feel of this one now because it feels fantastic. Yeah. I mean, it feels very soft. It's not clicky or hard like a lot of driving irons can be. I mean, mm -hmm. this I would honestly feel say or say feels pretty similar to just a P790. Yeah. So, I mean, I suppose I love the feel of, the of those materials. irons. A lot of people do. Yeah. yeah it's just, that forged face, you can really feel it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if I can cut one here. Ooh, and play a cut. Okay. 
Oh, he's done it. Jeez, you're on command of your golf swing right now, Jay. <laughs> Jeez. It's a good day, I guess. It's probably going to be a lot shorter. It is a lot shorter. That one carried 193, mm -hmm. and it also the jumped up the spin a lot, which is very yeah. typical of mm -hmm. a cut shot. So Peak height on that? That one was 78. So Okay, interesting. Just a little, a little it's, I mean, they're all kind of right around 80 feet right yeah, now. Yeah, absolutely. Try to put the beans into that one. That one was a darn good swing, too. Wow, this dispersion, I have it zoomed way out, so it's uh -huh. like, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like... <laughs> yeah, uh, well, I mean, we'll take that. Yeah, we'll, we'll zoom it in a little bit, though. Um, okay, so we've got some great numbers. That one was really good, too, mm -hmm. carried 210. Um, height, again, at 78 feet. Yeah. So let's... Um, of those, your mm -hmm. average carry was 209 yards. We're going to talk about average apex height there. That's going to be 84 feet on mm -hmm. those six shots. Um, so in terms of those, well, we had six shots, and there's not really, like, you hit all of them pretty darn good, mm -hmm. right? Um, well, are we? How much are we thinking in terms of lower height for the PUEI? I would say I'd expect this to maybe be 10 to 15 feet lower. We might see an actually reduction in carry just because that spin isn't keeping the ball up in the air so long. Yeah. But we'd see a lot larger increase in the rollout. Okay. For me personally, I don't generate a ton of height with these clubs. I would definitely play the DHY over the UDI if it was UDI. just because this would carry for me better. But off okay. the tee, this thing would be an absolute machine. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So going over all the averages here, mm -hmm. right? So I talked about carry to average 209. Your ball speed average was, or excuse me, club speed average uh -huh. was 97.1. Yeah. Ball speed was 138.5. Interesting on the launch, too. That's probably something we should talk about mm -hmm. in these clubs a little bit, too. Launch angle, 11.1. Yeah. So, you know, it's kind of you're kind of getting like a, you know, a lower launch, but higher mm -hmm. spin rates yeah. and kind of like that, which is not a bad way to hit these clubs at no, all. It's actually a really controlled way to do it. Um, then we talked about the feet or the height as well, 84 on that one, mm -hmm. and your average total was 2. 21. Okay. So yeah. um, that kind of fell in with where your numbers. Yeah, that's be. about what I expect to see there. Um, yep. That slot in my bag is usually right around 225, 230. Okay, perfect. Well, let's uh, we'll try the other club here. This is going to be the PUDI now. Mm -hmm. Okay. A little toey on that. Okay. Just a little toey, you said? Yeah. Still hit it with some pretty good efficiency at 137 mm -hmm. so not okay. perfect yeah. but you know a little slight miss it mm -hmm. and it's still rolled out like you i mean it's still rolled out to 221 yeah. so it's one of those that isn't going to carry far mm -hmm. enough probably um or at least car carry compared yeah. to the good shots but it probably mm -hmm. rolled out to a similar number yeah and that's just that tungsten weighting kind of adding that yeah. forgiveness there yeah let's hang out there to the right a little uh -huh. bit that was better that one's really good yeah, that one is a really good shot there. Okay. Height on that one was 78 feet. Yeah. So our average is still a little bit under the PDHY uh -huh. so yep. far. Again, we've only had three shots. We'll hit a few more. How here, much did that spin rate change? From the last shot? Yeah. That one actually spun more. Does that surprise you a little bit? No. I mean, hitting no. off the toe, you're going to drop some spin okay. there. Yeah, because, yeah, that spun a little bit more. Yeah. Um, the ball flight's definitely lower. Like yeah, it's definitely, for sure. I think, even when you're, like, when you're making mm -hmm. clean contact, it's definitely kind of staying like a lower penetrating ball flight. Yeah, center of gravity on this is a little higher up on the face. Yep. It's not going to so initially launch quite as much. For the, for the apex. Yeah, yeah. Is there any difference in the feel between the two? I would say this one feels slightly firmer. Okay. Um, behind the ball, much, definitely a much more traditional look. It's a lot slimmer. The yep. DHY has a little bigger kind of trailing edge there. They do that to help bring the center of gravity back, but it does have a different look to it behind the ball. Okay. Ooh, there's a good ball. Yeah. Slightly thin, might spin a little more. Let me, uh, sorry, I gotta grab a, so you can drop some ball speed. Yeah. Yeah, that one was down to 136 on that mm -hmm. one. Um, but the height is still at 68. So I'm, yeah. I'm so what I'm going to do here now, we've got we really got some pretty good shots mm -hmm. here in dispersion. So on the map as you can see, so I have it it's labeled funky. We got a 2H for two like there's yeah. two different hybrids. A 2H, 4H. 2H is the club you just hit, uh -huh. the PUDI. Um, and it's a very you can see how consistent that that shape yeah. is right on the dispersion. So you got a very consistent number for yardage mm -hmm. on all those. Whereas this the the DHY was straighter. Yeah. But it was a little bit it different on the distance, mm -hmm. right? So um, and I'm going to go through the averages here on the 
UDY, UDI, excuse me. So the big one on that is the average height was 74. Uh -huh. So a little bit lower, right? Yep. So the other one was close to 80. This one's 74. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're talking about on the carry, 206 average. Yeah. Um, total distance, 219. Mm -hmm. The spin rate is 44.92 on average, and if we're going to compare that to the DHY, it's mm -hmm. a little bit lower because the DHY was 45.94. Yep. So about a thousand, uh, excuse me, 100 mm -hmm. RPM difference, which I think is probably about what they would yeah. expect, right? Um, what did, and then the launch angle too, actually mm -hmm. on the, uh, that's another one we should talk about. Um, the launch angle was down to 9.5 yeah. versus about 11. About right. So it is just a lower launching club, I think, mm -hmm. right? And there, again, we are testing these at both 20 degrees. Mm -hmm. All right, Jake, testing complete there, P, DHY, P, U, D, I. Yep. Um, I thought we found kind of what we expected, as I mm -hmm. noted there. Um, I mean, if we kind of wrap up here and what we always do in these is kind of ask the fitter or mm -hmm. the expert, so to speak, uh, since you're the one fitting in the base, who these clubs are for. We talked a little bit about it already, but kind of summarize again, mm -hmm. the, start with the P, U, D, I, the player or player types in the fitting bay that are going to fit into this club. Yeah, so traditionally someone that plays into a driving iron is going to be someone with very high ball speed that struggles with peak height management. Hybrid seven ones are designed to launch higher, help people like myself get the ball up in the air. Um, if you struggle with peak height, a driving iron would be a great place to look. These new tailor-made ones are phenomenal. Um, if you are a little more height challenged, yep. this P you, uh, DHY is a great option as well. Very easy to launch, it spins a little bit more. If you don't like a hybrid but need more height out of that next club above your four iron, it's a great place to look. Yeah, I think there's, and then in terms of another question to ask here too is, you know, why should players go into a driving iron in mm -hmm. general? Like, is there, is, have you seen players that are maybe, you know, struggling with a hybrid or a seven wood yeah. that, you know, they might just, it might be just too high or too spinny for them. And that's yeah. maybe where one of these clubs, mm -hmm. either one of them can be great for that for you. You know, I would say I have a lot of players that play better with a traditional iron, but hitting a three iron in most sets is pretty unrealistic. Yeah. They're pretty hard to hit. Um, they switch to a hybrid or a seven wood and they just can't control that height. They're hitting the ball 150, some, some players 170 feet in the air. Yeah. Getting them into something like this controls height a lot better, which then is easier to control carry, spin rate, direction. Overall, if you are, it's tough to find the right player, um, but when you do, this thing is absolutely perfect. Yeah, there you go. I, I love that, I love that. So golfers, if you feel like you're the player that qualifies and should be playing a driving iron, TaylorMade P U D I or TaylorMade P D H Y. Mm -hmm. Two great options in 2024 here. Go get fit, schedule a fitting with someone like Jake at our Minneapolis store or any one of our store locations has a great staff of master club fitters that'll help you out. So, Jake, thanks for taking the time today, hit some shots. Um, really good stuff here.